I'm Matt Vale, one half of Illuminos. My brother is somewhere over there, doling out projectors as we speak. And we're here in Milton Keynes, a very exciting evening, where we're attaching little projectors to bikes and projecting moths out of them out onto the street as we drive around a route that we've got planned in the park down here. This came about as an idea in Milton Keynes, the redways themselves are not used very much. And so we thought, let's reinvent them a bit and get people cycling around them again. We thought, how better at night to use something which would lead people along the paths. And we've got moons hidden around the park for the moths to go and discover. So we came up with the idea, which is great, but then we had to think, well, what moths do we use here? Um, and there's an expert called Gordon Redburn, and he is an expert in moths in the area and he pointed us in the direction of all the moth species that actually are here. So every single one of the moths that you see, and there are 10 different moths we use, are those moths. When we get the images themselves, we then have to find a way of actually making them actually move, because obviously they're just still pictures that we've got. So we use a program called After Effects, which is like Photoshop, and we're able to stick them in there and break the wings off, break the body off, break the head off, put them all back together again, and then the wings, we can make them flap, and the bodies we can make them move a bit so that when we put it all back together in a video it looks like it's really alive even though it's just made the picture. I think it's nice to see people from you know from all around Milton Keynes coming together for this small event and it's a Friday night as well to see, see so many people committed to cycling around following the moon um, it's just it's really really nice and I think it's a nice welcome back to the norm so it's really nice for us to be part of it as well. I think it encourages more fitness issues obviously and um, then because little kids and their families they do it more so I guess that includes it encourages little kids to do more fitness things because it's I, fun. I also think it builds up the community activities that could like structure the community to be better and stronger. It's different because it's with people you don't know but that also kind of makes it a bit more interesting like you're so, you're doing it with these cool like projectors and with a bunch yeah. of people who you have like no idea who they are but you can kind of just go along with a ride and maybe if you want to start I think I think it makes it a bit more fun as well because yeah. you have these projectors that I think it's it's just better because kids again would enjoy it more because it's not just, oh, I have to go cycling because my mum and dad said I have to. It's, oh, this is a fun thing with other people that I'm going to do. And I think it's just a really special event after COVID, seeing everyone together, seeing so many excited people as well. And it's just a nice day out, really. I think a projection artwork, uh, we often do things that are massive, like on buildings, a bit like the moon behind us, and also really tiny, like on a teapot. Um, what we love is it just brings spaces and objects to life in different ways that you wouldn't normally see them that way. So like today we're obviously around on all these paths and it'll come alive or the building pops into life and then when it's all done the building goes back to normal or the paths go back to normal we all have a happy memory of something that was a bit different. 